compact, speed, character. Those are the three words that I would use to define the Abarth 595 Competition 2018. I think with the Italian automakers, it's either they go very well or very badly. Well, let's not get into those details. That's a story for another day. Without further ado, I'm your girl Yvette Kikuyu, here with another Yellow Motor review. Since this is my first time bonding with an Italian automobile, I decided to take myself back to school to bond with the maker and bond with the brand. Some good features about this car, you can tell that there was some work put into the innovation. Carlo Abarth, the maker of this car, came up with the first Abarth in 1949. He then got acquired by Fiat in 1971 and they had a cool running for about 10 years till 1981 where they decided to take a break, go back into the innovation room, come up with some new cool features, and in 2007, they hit the market running, and today, we have this beauty. When I talked about character, the outstanding thing about this little pocket rocket is that she weighs 1,100 kilograms. Small, chunky, and very funky. Now onto the wheels. She comes fully packed in 17 inch alloy rims. I love the mesh grille at the front that somewhat extends to the back. She has xenon headlights and fog lights. And speaking of the back, she comes with a quad exhaust because you know, she's small, but she's a mean machine. Let's talk interior. First thing, I think I've said it before, I am a minimalist. So this right here, I'm in heaven. The nav bar, very comprehensive, supports all your different audio devices, has the radio, GPS, you know, quite good enough, I can say. And also, one thing that I'd like to highlight when I'm talking about the nav bar is that the sounds in this car are powered by Beats, Beats by Dre. And you know, nothing is better than Dre Beats. Next thing I would like to talk about the instrumental cluster. I think the size is befitting for the overall size of the car. And it's the first time ever that I had to open my windows. This is actually the button that you use to put the windows down. Very interesting. The gearbox, it's a semi-auto transmission, accommodates both manual and auto, and you can also switch to spot. So I like the fact that it's not so busy. I know what everything does. So coming down to the cup holder space in between, I really think that there's not much we can do based on the overall size of the car, but it's very limiting. And particularly because you have to keep lifting up and putting down the handbrake, so it doesn't leave you with much to work with. The seats, I absolutely love. They're branded Abarth logo, loud and clear. They're leather, giving it that sporty edge. Coming to the steering wheel. I have mixed feelings about this steering wheel because she is a beauty. I like the blend between Alcantara and the carbon fiber. The logo is very prominent because she's the only colored thing. Everything else is black. The paddle shift is right behind, so it's easy access, but she's not a telescopic steering wheel. So basically she only moves up and down. She doesn't move forward. So I really can't adjust it to my desired preference. All in all, out of 10, I would give it a seven and a half. The Abarth 595 comes with a four cylinder 1.4 turbo engine that produces 180 horsepower. What I love about this car, it comes fully equipped with Brembo brakes that produce maximum braking capacity, especially when you're going around a corner. It avoids slide and glide. Another thing is that to match its performance, it has very stiff suspension. That's really cool when you know you're on a fast track, like speeding up and down. However, when you're on a slow mode, you feel every bump, every crease on the road. At the end of the day, the million dollar question is, 
would I purchase or would I recommend buying the Abath 595 Competizioni? My grand answer is yes. She's worth the money. Definitely, if you have a need for speed, then this pocket rocket goes home with you. And lastly, I do feel they did compromise on some aesthetics when it comes to interior features. However, what they lack in aesthetics, they compensate in character and performance. That's a good deal right there.